Hey guys, welcome back to the Mobile Command Studio for another edition of Nerd Rage. And I think I am going to be doing something different today. Uh, oh, I'm still upset <laughs> and I'm still gonna rage about something, but I'm gonna rage about something that I don't think I've raged about before, or may, not that I can recollect anyway at the moment. Uh, Transformer toys, yeah. So we are uh, just a little over a month out from the last night uh, to come out. New Transformers movie, uh, new toys are coming out. This is this is usually a, a very exciting time for me. And this time around, it really hasn't. Uh, it hasn't been so far. You know, I've been, I have to say, I've been disappointed with the lineup of the uh, new movie toys so far. Uh, you know, we talked about how I am not going to buy things anymore just for the purpose of reviewing them. That's possibly the silliest excuse to buy something. Uh, I just, I want to buy this not because I want it, but because I want to review it. Um, I, I'm not really in a place to be doing that. It's a silly reason to buy something. So, um, that being said, half of the stuff that has come out so far for the new movie has all been repaints from the last movie. Uh, that I have absolutely no interest in. So I'm not going to be picking any of that up. Uh, now, I still want to remain consistent with Optimus Primes, you know. The idea behind That's Just Prime is that I want to do a review of every possible Prime that I can get my hands on. You know, just have one collection in one channel or in one playlist for everybody to see. It's something that um, I saw a need for because it was something that I, I wished there to be and there wasn't so I took it upon myself to do it so what does that mean for the new Optimus Prime figures well uh, so far I've reviewed one and that's the Voyager Premier Edition which I thought was a great figure I still do it's it's an excellent figure it, it's so I, I've actually I've enjoyed that figure so much that it hasn't even gone up on the shelf yet I'd still have it on my review table or on my desk and I fidget with it every day so it's a great figure I enjoy it a lot uh, I have seen at least uh, six other primes now uh, for the last night, uh, three of which I am not even going to pick up. I'm not even going to touch them. And the other two are, uh, I have interest in them, but not at the price that they're currently at. So let's talk about those. Um, the first one is that I, I want to talk about is the turbo changer uh, the large one uh, the, uh, it's it's going for about twenty dollars right now it's approximate retail on it now I actually like this figure I am actually attracted to this figure it's uh it's about Voyager size it's uh it's your typical flip changer like the ones that we started seeing around the time of RID uh, one or two years ago the larger size uh, flip changer so it really only has a, a two-step transformation it's got a lot of really really cool detail that's been molded into it it's got that battle uh, mask gimmick uh, where you push the chest and that's a battle mask that flips over the head uh, and I like that uh, here's the problem I think they forgot to paint the robot mode I'm not kidding it's as if they painted the truck mode and then sent it on down the line to get packaged and completely forgot to paint the robot mode. Uh, the robot mode only has the two chest pieces are painted and the skirt is painted. That's it, the rest of the robot is just gray. It's just unpainted gray, which is a real shame because you lose a lot of that detail. They went through all this trouble to mold all this detail into this toy and then didn't paint it and you lose it all. You don't even appreciate it. So it's disappointing to see uh, if you see it in stores, it's in an open package, so you can actually hold it in your hand and, uh, you know, it's like zip tied at the feet. So you can actually hold it in your hand and see it. Uh, I think it's a cool looking figure. I'd like to pick it up, but not for 20 bucks. 20 bucks, I think it's a little, not a little, it's too steep. It's too steep at 20 bucks. So uh, unless I can find that figure on clearance or, or something like that for like 20 bucks, oops, listen to me. Uh, 10 bucks, I think would be a good price to pay for that thing. Uh, otherwise, 
I don't think I'm going to be picking it up, you know. So, so that's that one. Uh, the other one I saw yesterday for the first time, and I did some research on it. It's called a Titan Changer. Uh, and I think Titan refers to the size class, possibly. I don't know. But it looks like it's in the closed box. It's a window box. And he's just standing straight up like this. And it looks like these, um, these new 12-inch uh, figures that they make now for every superhero movie where they would just stand like this. They kind of look like the old Kenner Star Wars figures. That's all they do. Uh, you know, four, uh, four points of articulation and that's it. Uh, so it looks like one of those. When I first saw it, I didn't even think it transformed until I turned it around and, and, and looked at the back of the box. Uh, they had done one uh, similar to, or, or you know, they had done one, another one of these for R.I.D. that was just so hideous, I didn't even pick that one up. It was just absolutely hideous. I couldn't forgive myself if had I picked it up. So, uh, so I bad passed the, the R.I.D. one. So this one, the, the, the one for the movie, when I saw it, I must say I was intrigued when I saw that it actually did transform. It transforms in four steps. Uh, you flip the head down, uh, you bring the legs together, uh, the arms come down, you know, uh, bend them uh, against the sides, and then uh, you bend them over at the waist. So basically it's like his hands are holding his butt, and the hands and the butt become the front of the truck, and the feet become the hitch. Uh, so try to picture that. Um, it's mostly blue. It's got a little smatterings of red and silver here and there. Um, it does not look like a great figure at all. It really doesn't. But I have to say, I was intrigued by this one. At least this one wasn't as hideous as the R.I.D. Um, and I was intrigued. Uh, I would, uh, I, I'm curious to like get it in hand and play with it. However, 15 bucks is what it's retailing. 15 bucks, little man. Anyway, uh, nah, too much. 15, 15 bucks is way too much for that thing. I mean, this is something that I could see paying a dollar for at a yard sale, honestly. Um, I might consider it if I see it for less than 10, and that's that's pushing it. I, I wouldn't even pay 10 bucks for this thing, honestly. Um, five, I think, would be a good price for that thing. So, I mean, Unless uh, unless I see those two figures for 10 or five bucks each, um, probably not gonna be picking them up. Uh, the other three that I have absolutely no intentions of picking up, there is the Shadow Spark Optimus Prime. And this is a black repaint. Uh, it's got black and it's got some gold details in there, so a lot of grays. Uh, but it's a black repaint of the leader class mold from the previous movie. Uh, which which I find odd because um, that that was a mold that not a lot of people were happy with. Uh, I know that a lot of people just did not like that mold. Um, I, I liked it. I, I happen to like it. Uh, I enjoy that figure quite a bit. But um, it's odd that a mold that was so generally disliked is is what they're choosing to uh, to repaint. Um, weird when they went from the first movie to Revenge of the Fallen, they made all new molds. They didn't repeat a single mold from the first movie. And uh, this appeared to be the perfect opportunity to do that again and improve on those molds. I mean, they did it with the, with the Voyager version. Uh, shows how much more improvement there is over the last movie, Toys. Uh, but instead, they decided to repaint this guy in black. Um, there are some people out there that are, that are going to pick it up just because it's a black repaint. Uh, there are a lot of people out there that absolutely love their black repaint Optimus Prime. So uh, I guess there's some of market for it. Um, I am not one of them. I am not one of those guys that goes crazy for black repaint Optimus Prime. I honestly don't get it. I don't know what the big attraction is. Uh, I'm not hating on you if you like it. It's it's your thing. Hey, I collect Optimus Prime. I'm a 42-year-old man collecting toys. So I'm not going to bag on you for liking your black primes. I just don't get it. So I am not going to, I have absolutely no plans or intentions of picking up that figure. Uh, then we have another turbo changer, turbo changer. It's a smaller version. It's, uh, it's basically a reissue of the, uh, the one step changer from the previous movie, uh, where you just kind of have the little lever on the back of the truck, flip it over 
and he just springs up. It's 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 a one step changer. It's a spring changer. Uh, it's the exact same one we got in the previous movie. Uh, I can't even see any difference in the paint applications or anything like that. Um, so I guess I've I have reviewed it because I reviewed the previous one. So uh, it goes for about ten bucks. Again, I'm not I'm not gonna pick it up. I already got it. Uh, but uh, if you missed it the first time around, now's your chance to go and get it. So I guess that's kind of cool uh, in a sense uh, because I personally think that is a cool figure. I do like it. Uh, the little flip former. If that's uh, and again. Um, you know, that's the thing about these trans uh, about transforming toys. Uh, it's so polarizing. A lot of people will like one thing and then a lot of people will hate it and it's just it's so polarizing. I like the I like the figure. I know there's a lot of people that hate flip formers or change one step formers. Uh, some people do. And for those of you that do, uh, if you saw my review and you like the figure and you didn't get it, now it's a good opportunity to uh, pick it up. So um, wow, the lighting for this video is gonna be all kind of weird, huh? And the last Optimus Prime that I saw is the Legion class Optimus Prime. And it is a direct repaint of a Legends class Optimus Prime that we got back in Revenge of the Fallen. So it's the exact same toy, which is weird because that's not even the kind of truck that he is anymore. That, uh, that Peterbilt square nose um, truck. I mean, obviously he's a Western star now. So they don't even look the same. It's completely different, so it's weird. Uh, it's painted mostly blue, a little bit of red detail here and there, uh, and that's about it. I honestly don't understand what that, what the decision was on that one. Uh, it's, I don't know, whatever. I mean, then again, if you look at uh, Grimlock, the, the, the Legion class Grimlock is a repaint of one of the beast the little Legion class beast, uh, uh, beast hunter figures. So it, it doesn't even look like a dinosaur. So whatever. Um, but anyway, the Legion class, it's a blue repaint of the Revenge of the Fallen Legends class. Back then, if I remember correctly, it was about three, anywhere between three to five bucks, something like that. I don't believe I've reviewed that one. So I guess I should, that would be, that would be a good time to review that one. Uh, it's going for about eight bucks. If uh, if you think eight dollars is a fair price for a Legion class figure, and it's a mold that you're interested in, and you never got it, then I guess there it is. Uh, but again, I really don't. I, this is one that I don't get. That's completely different mold. Is from four movies ago now. Yeah, three, four movies ago. So I don't. It doesn't make sense to me. But there it is. So yeah, those last three, I have absolutely no intention of picking up uh the other two possibly clearance season if i find them uh like i said they are the uh, uh the turbo changer the large turbo changer i really have an interest in picking up that figure but it kills me that it's unpainted it just absolutely kills me that it's unpainted and they want to ask for 20 bucks for it just that kills it for me right there and then the Titan one, uh, I find it curious. And um, you know, I like Optimus Prime figures. I like bad Optimus Prime figures just because they are Optimus Prime. And this is something new. It looks cheap. It looks crappy. <laughs> but it's something new. It's something that they that I've not seen before. And that's what that's what attracts me to it. Uh, it just it's it's just it's a novelty thing. So I am curious about that one. I am kind of attracted to it, but again, for 15, I think that's just too steep. So we'll see come clearance season, or maybe I'll find it at a yard sale someday or in a dollar bin of a convention, who knows? So look for that review in a couple of years. <laughs> anyway, um, but other than that, uh, I'm probably not gonna pick up any, any other figures. Uh, in fact, actually, I have not talked about this. Uh, so that's a good time to talk about it, I guess. Uh, I started doing something different with my collecting. Uh, as you all know, I got a little bit out of control. It got, it got away from me. So I have stopped uh, buying Transformers. I've stopped collecting Transformers. Uh, with the exception of Optimus Prime, because that is the character that I like. It's my favorite character. It's the one that I like to collect for. So Optimus Prime figures, I still, I still buy and collect. Uh, and then uh, I will pick up the occasional G1 
and I'll pick up the occasional masterpiece. Um, and obviously, you know, those are few and far between. So, uh, with the exception of those three, I am not buying Transformers anymore. I've stopped. Uh, it was a really difficult thing to do, uh, especially because when I stopped, is when the, all the Headmaster figures started coming out, and it was, I was losing my mind. It was driving me crazy not seeing those figures in the uh, in the stores and not picking them up. So, I probably, you know, I, I would be interested to get Megatron, but other than that, uh, and I'm not going to. I, 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 I am in, I would be interested in picking up Megatron, but I'm not planning on picking it up. I'm not planning on picking up anything from Revenge of the Fall or. Uh, the last night, uh, unless they are Optimus Primes, and I just told you what I think about those. So uh, I will continue doing uh, that's just Prime with my current Prime collection, and with any other Primes that I do see, that I do interest me, and that I do want to get elsewhere online. So uh, with that, uh, I think we're pretty much done with today's nerd rage. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you all so much. I've got a second that's just Prime that just came out this past Monday getting a lot of good feedback a lot of positive uh comments and and uh just keep it coming guys i really do appreciate everybody that stuck with me on uh this far uh, the camera just shifted looking to go so uh yeah keep it coming guys i'm loving it and i will continue to uh, uh do the the reviews for you guys that you guys enjoy uh and with that uh we're done with this nurture rage we're, we're gonna cut it out here uh i'm getting too long-winded so um what did you think of this video? Uh, what would you like to see me review? Let me know. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, share with your friends if you like what you see. And I'll talk to you next time.